Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And these digital shop microscopes, or maybe they're called uh, soldering microscopes, are just getting better and better. Um, I've done some work with these in the past, and the resolution, the clarity, the screens, I mean, everything is really turning into something where you really have to almost see it to believe it. And they're durable, they're simple, they're battery powered, they're mobile, yet they offer um, both a screen and often a camera that may exceed what the human eye can actually see. You can see this one up here I've got set at 1080p. I can do video with it, I can take still images with it, I can control the, uh, the clarity, the sharpness of this thing under even different lights. I can turn those on. As you can see there, I mean, it's it's a whole nother world. Um, so let me go over this one really quick. Um, this is a Lima Link. It's actually one that uh, a company um, asked me about a different product, and I looked through their their offerings and said, hey, you know what, I want one of these, and let me give this a shot. I've had it for a while. I've played around with it. I've used it in a lot of situations, and I'm surprised by it almost all every time I use it. It's a simple design. Basically what you've got is a, um, a microscope housing, onboard LED lights, a large screen, high resolution screen, a set of, uh, you know, basically buttons on the front end. Um, comes with a remote control if you need to do things from a distance. And this is pretty cool. This is kind of new. It runs an 18650 battery. So technically I could take this out into the field and as long as I had batteries, I could keep running it. So it's not uh, kind of the usual stuff with the onboard um, battery. I can put a micro uh, SD card in it. This is kind of neat. I can plug a AV output and run a television, comes the cord, uh, or put it into a, a TV or a large monitor or something else. So if I'm working with people and want to show them things, um, kind of nice, or of course for recording, etc. cetera. Um, and it's got the full control of the light um, down at the bottom using a, uh, you know, a little wheel here. And look at that, it's mobile, which means basically that I can take this, turn it on, and I can use it in a, a fairly mobile environment. As you see here, uses a, uh, a focus wheel across the bottom, right there, where I can get this just, just amazingly sharp mobile. Um, one thing I would like to see, they didn't do this, but is to have this actually be a flat at the focal plane. I've noticed if I put this down, say onto the um, my Carhartt, move that back, um, my Carhartt tool roll tabletop here. By the way, I, I emailed Carhartt and asked them when their updated one that we helped with, by the way, will be ready. But I can't quite get it. As soon as I start lifting, um, I can actually get the focus. Let me see if I can get that. Yeah, it's right, right about there. That's the maximum focus and it's actually above, I don't know if you can see that, there's a bit of a gap. So it'd be nice if that was exact, so I could just set this down as a flush focus. But anyway, it's really fast. Uh, here's a couple of O-lights. I'll be working with this one. This is an amazing light here. And I can check the, um, the knurling uh, across the body of this thing. In fact, here's where I can turn on the lights. You see they're off there. I'm just going to start spinning this, crank it way up, which gives me much better focus. But as I was looking at that, just looking at the machining, because I've got to do a review on these compared to a previous version, this is a little cruder. And in fact, the more I, the more I look at this, the finish work, using a light like this. In fact, I'm gonna back it off a little bit because it's almost too close. Um, 
I can see just the uh, changes in the, the machining between product lines and, I mean, between uh, product release dates. And I'm impressed. So anyway, uh, this particular one, the LumaLink, comes with a stand. The stand, actually I'll set this down. The stand has onboard batteries right here to run these lights. So if I crank these guys on, you can see I've got a couple of uh, lights that I can direct right towards whatever it is I'm, I'm uh, looking at. Simple design, locking mechanism there. I can take this apart. I can use this as a, um, a, a height adjustment and then make fast adjustments with this very quick spinning down here, this very quick spinning, very low resistance focus wheel so I can throw something under there and then dial it right in get that where am I right there look at that let me throw some light on it um, slide this over working with this tape measure here this is one of tough Built's new tapes where they actually provide the, the information down to the eighth of an inch on it um, anyway the more I use these, the more I'm impressed. You know, if I'm looking at tools and I want to see an actual, you know, finish work, machining, tool marks, things like that. You know, it's just incredible. How close can I go? I can drop this quite a ways down and still focus in and see this at a resolution pretty much equivalent to what the human eye can see on the screen. In other words, I don't see any pixels or anything. I see just a razor, razor sharp um, expression of reality. So I've been using this to look at some things pretty close. Sometimes I might include that in the videos, but overall, being able to have something this fast, this durable, this portable, you know, the whole thing's battery powered. This kind of a, a, um, a microscope, simple design, really uh, fast to use, self-powered, you know, with the batteries, both for the screen and for the, um, for the lighting and replaceable batteries. I mean, just it's pretty amazing. So what I've like, what I'd like you to think about is that uh, many times our our tool world is limited by what we can know, and what we can know is what we can sense, and primarily that's with our eyes. But once we start working with any kind of a a microscope or something like that we really get down to some intricacies that allow us to make some judgments. And, you know, that's what I'm working on with the tools, you know, just looking at the machining, looking at the, the fit, the finish, you know, the, the intricate details through a microscope, because that's why I like tools. I mean, it gives me some more information about that tool. And it's, a tool can be a knife, a tool can be a flashlight, a tool can be pliers. But anyway, so here's the Lima Link, or Lime Ink, and this particular uh, microscope, I'm, it's just the resolution and the camera. I mean, it's just shocking. And with that, Doc out.